Wow, wow, wow. How about that at the end of qualifying? Max Verstappen had the chance to get pole position. Absolutely nailed on for pole position, but absolutely chokes at the end. Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your qualifying review in the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. My goodness me, what a dramatic end to Q3. I could not believe it. Wow. Max Verstappen on the final corner locks up and hits the wall and damages his succession and also the wishbones as well. But will he have to take a five grid place penalty or a ten grid place penalty? Massive moment in this championship. Has Max Verstappen just absolutely bottled his first ever F1 world title? Wow. I mean, he didn't even have to push that hard. It's absolutely mad. It's like, wow. Oh, my goodness me. So Verstappen hits the wall and he has to settle to P3, but... Like I said, if his gearbox is damaged or he has to change any components, possibly a 5 or 10 grid place penalty, which that could be a massive blow for him. So it's a Mercedes 1-2. Lewis Hamilton on pole position. Fauci Bottas second. But the Mercedes in that qualifying session did not look very comfortable at times at all. It's like Hamilton once had too much understeer steer or over steer is either one of them two, but yeah, his Mercedes wasn't really sticking to the track. But thankfully, on his final lap of qualifying, he got it together and the car was sticking to the track much better. But Max Verstappen was nailed on the pole position and he just absolutely bottled it. It's mad, wow, and truly. Totally insane what just happened in the end of that qualifying session. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. Start of the session. I'm going to get it to... Well, there was a lot of good performances. Yuki Tsunoda was good. I mean, Norris was as well. So it's a difficult one, but Wow. You just could not write this. Like I said, that could be a massive turning point in this championship. Aston Martin, what an absolute disaster for Aston Martin in qualifying. Both of them, Stroll and Vettel, knocked out in Q1. Not good. They have not looked great this weekend at all, Aston Martin. Both the Alfa Romeos, wow. Both of them made it through to... Q2, and I believe Antonio Giovinazzi made it through to Q3. That's absolutely unbelievable performance by Antonio Giovinazzi. The driver who is leaving F1 and going to Formula E because he's lost his seat at Alfa Romeo. My goodness, he absolutely unbelievable by Antonio Giovinazzi. But Lewis Hamilton on pole position, Bottas second. Well, in the moment, Max is still third, but you don't know whether he's going to have to take a penalty or not. But wow. I mean, to me, Max, he didn't even need to push that hard. It looked like he got a bit too eager. And wow, is this a sign that he is starting to buckle and crumble under the pressure? And a one and two from Mercedes in qualifying, that's massive. But wow, drama, drama, drama. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, part of me is hoping that he doesn't have to take a penalty. Max this happen because we want to see this title decided. Let the best driver out on track win, you know. No penalties, no reliability issues, just... A straight fight to Abu Dhabi. That's what we'd like to see. But if he has to take a penalty for something, wow. That's a massive blow. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. 
and join me tomorrow for the race review. Lewis Hamilton on pole position. Max Verstappen absolutely bottles it on the final corner. Wow. Bye-bye.